Hey guys, how's it going? It's Orit here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use TubeBuddy to specifically find your tags for your video. So these are the tags that you need to use when you go to upload a video onto your channel. TubeBuddy has a great place to list out a whole bunch of related tags that we're going to show you how to do. So in order to first see this, you do need to have TubeBuddy installed. TubeBuddy is a Chrome extension. If you don't already have it and want to learn more about it, you can check out one of our previous videos, which I'll link to in the description, but you can also just head straight to the TubeBuddy page. I will link to that in the description as well, so you can check that out. But for now, in this video, I'm just going to show you directly as if you already had it. You do need to click on the TubeBuddy extension here and then go to where it says Keyword Explorer under Extension Tools. So we use TubeBuddy to optimize every single one of our videos on our channel and over 90% of the traffic that comes to our channel is all organic, is just by people finding us in the search engines. And it's because we, you know, we really know how to do the keyword research and figure out all that kind of stuff. I will talk more about our exact process later on in this video for how to optimize a video, but let's just get started to show you how to get the tags. So let's say you had a video Actually, I just did a recent tutorial on Zoom showing people how to um, how to change the background. So let's just click on that right there. And so let's just say that is a video that you want to optimize for. So you got to make sure that it has a good score, first of all. And um, if so, then it is a good keyword phrase to rank for. And once you've figured out, you know, you have, you might need to do this a few times um, in order to actually get a good score. Once you do find a good score or a very good score and above is best actually when it hits into these green regions here, that's what you want to aim for. And once you do that, to find your tags that you're going to paste in, um, in the uploader when you're uploading your video, it's all going to sit in this little window over here. So where it says common video tags, uh, these are the most used tags from the top ranking videos that are optimized for this phrase. So if we go into results, it's actually pulling the tags from all of these top ranking videos on the first page here. So we want to leverage off of that. We want to use these keywords here and you want to look for tags that are uh, we typically go for at least three words and above. So if it's just Zoom, we won't use that as a tag. It's too vague. You could use it. I mean, it's just, it's not part of our strategy that we use to rank every single video. Um, we like those more specific kinds of phrases um, where it's easier to rank for. So we'll typically choose ones with three words or more. And you have to also make sure that it's relevant to your video. You don't want to choose something that isn't relevant. So if I created a tutorial on this topic, I am going to definitely choose this because it is related to creating a virtual background in Zoom. Uh, Zoom video conferencing. Uh, yes, it's related to that. Zoom virtual background without green screen. I actually show them with green screen, so I'm going to not check that one. Um, Zoom virtual background video. So I don't show them how to add a video. I mention it, but it's not entirely relevant. I will leave that out. So you, again, really want to be particular about making it relevant because you want people to click on your video and actually get what they came there for. That's what's going to create the trust, the connection, the subscriber. You don't want to lead them astray. So don't use anything that's not relevant. Zoom video conferencing tutorial, yes. These are all lower, um, these, this is like a two word and a one word, which is why I'm just skipping over it entirely. Virtual background without green screen, no. Virtual background studio, I want something more specific with Zoom. So I'm gonna click on this one, yes. So you're gonna go through this list, you know, you, you can get the hang of it. Um, how to change the background in Zoom, that's a great one. And I typically choose about 10 to 12. 
there is a character limit on your tags so if you go to paste all of those tags and you might see that there's uh, there's too many you're over the character limit then you can just delete one of the tags um, but you'll see here as you start to check mark each box here it'll show you in the corner how many keywords you've selected so let's just say I went up to my 10 to 12 what you're going to do is click on this button here that says action and select copy to keyboard uh, co copy to clipboard I think that's what it said and um, let's just make sure here I'm going to open up a notepad right so when I go to uh, paste it with control V on my PC for Mac it'll be different then it'll put all of the keywords that I selected including this one it'll bring this one that we've used at the top and then all of the other ones that I selected and uh, put commas in between them so you can literally just check mark all of the all of these tags click copy to key key copy to clipboard and then you can go to your video uploader and just hit paste and it'll put all of the tags in there for you so that's how we use TubeBuddy to get all of our tags for our videos. The entire SEO process, search engine optimization process of, of really optimizing a video for the search engines to have it rank is more than just choosing the tags. But I hope I've helped you with this at least to find those tags in TubeBuddy. We do have a full on course on how to rank your YouTube videos higher in the search it's our entire SEO process, all from how to actually find the right keyword phrase. So how to find this one here, how do you get a good score? How do you know what to type in here? All that kind of stuff, all the way down to where you're supposed to put these tags. You know, what do you do with the title? What do you do with the description? There's a lot more to really reaching um, a YouTube channel that has good organic growth coming to it consistently. So this is a process that we share. You can see here on our page, um, you can check out the course curriculum, uh, see what lectures I've put in there and just see if it's, it's good for you. If it's something that's a good fit, then we'd love for you to enroll in this course within our Creative Business Academy. I will put the link to it in the description below so you can check that out for yourself. It's really my goal within this course to take a seemingly convoluted, intimidating topic like YouTube SEO and make it really, really simple. And that's what I've done in this course here. Just very much clarified every single step so you can follow along. You can know how to do keyword research, come up with an effective title, choose the right tags, um, know what to do with your video description, and also give you other SEO tips to get a leg up on your competition. All right, guys, well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.